What were OSHA's top 10 safety violations in 2021? I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. When OSHA inspects workplaces around the country, it keeps data on violations found and tracks the most frequently cited standards. The top violations in 2021 include number one, fall protection. This standard relates to the construction industry, but if you look around your shop, you know there are times when workers need to work from height. Does an employee take care of roof maintenance? And are there fall protection measures in place to prevent injury? Other areas to think about are floor holes and platforms that require caution and training. Number two, respiratory protection. Millions of workers are required to wear respirators as part of their job to protect them from dust, fog, smoke, mist, gases, vapor, and sprays. Working without a respirator in the shop can lead to cancer, lung damage, disease, or even death. When a job requires a respirator, your shop must provide them to workers. Fit testing, cleaning procedures, and medical evaluations may also apply to your workplace respirator program. Number three, ladders. A ladder should be inspected each time it is used. If you have any that are damaged, take them out of service immediately by labeling them do not use to prevent accidents. It's also important to make sure your employees are using the right ladder for the job. Number four, scaffolding. In a shop, you may not have a recurring need for scaffolding. If you do, make sure you're familiar with the OSHA standards that apply to general industry before you allow employees to use scaffolding. Number five, hazard communication standard. This important standard is applicable to all businesses and involves making sure employees are aware of all chemicals in the workplace. Importantly, they must have easy access to information about these chemicals to learn about how to keep themselves safe from the potential hazards. Plus, they must be trained annually on any new chemicals that are brought into the shop or when they have a job change that exposes them to new chemical hazards. This content was based on an article that SP2 wrote for Body Shop Business. For more training guidance from SP2, visit sp2.org. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.